What's up gamers? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some amazing shiny bug hunting locations in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so you can get yourself some nice shiny bug Pokemon just like these ones here. By the way, if you see any locations in the game that you may think are better than mine, please feel free to write them in the comments. It helps everybody. That's the whole goal of these videos to help everyone. So for this sandwich, we're going to be slapping on a cherry tomato and two salty herba mysticas. Again, there are other recipes which I know the comment section will post down below so make sure you're reading those comments or you're writing the alternate recipe for other people but this is the one i'm using because it's just so simple trash sandwich and you'll get sparkling power bug title power to get those cool marks on your pokemon and encounter power bug to increase the amounts that show up everywhere all right north province area two it's gonna be a little chaotic here because we're gonna have to deal with a lot of bugs so if you're on a full bug hunt and you're starting off this game and you're like listen i don't care what bug pokemon i find i just want bugs galore well Oh, look no further. This is probably going to be your best spot to get this Pokemon. We got Scythers over here. You got Low Kicks, which are annoying everywhere. You got Heracross is spawning over here. You also got your little Cricketunes and Cricketots. And uh, that that is that is what the power of this Bamboo Forest is. Tons of bugs. So if you're looking for any bug, pretty much, and you want to start here, this is a great spot. Like the Cricketunes, you can look for Shiny in the yellow color. Look at that. Even Venomots are showing up here. So this is a bug hunting dream. You get all like third evolutions here this is great just run across the area check it out you know don't go too fast let some pokemon spawn in but this is a very very good hot spot i think i think the big the big one to note here is the families of cricketoon and cricketots because is because since it is a family you can zoom by those pokemon pretty easily heracross is also a spawn here and you can't really zoom past heracross because they're solo spawns but yeah all the ones that you can zoom past there you go there's spide ops and tarantulas those are also here just family Families of Pokemon all over the place. Pretty much every bug Pokemon is here. So if you pop a bug sandwich and want to just run through this entire area back and forth, I really do suggest coming here, especially to start filling your bug decks. And again, this is going to be in the North Province Area 2 Bamboo Forest. I need you to do me a favor real quick. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps me know that you are enjoying this video. So please go ahead and do that and let me know what typing video you want next. This spot is going to be at west province area one north and it's gonna run to the cascarafa west town and now i know low kicks is pretty much everywhere in the game but listen at least the baby's not as annoying and it runs away from you so all you really have to do is walk around this grass area and just pay attention to something that is yellow and stands out it spawns in pretty slow so you don't want to go too fast for nimbles but pretty much run the whole entire pathway here or walk it so the nimbles can spawn in the game and when you do walk that entire path you could take those side routes as we talk about in my other videos but here's the fun one if you go straight to the town now please shiny don't spawn and despawn on me because i will cry oh i thought that was oh these sparkles are not helping okay <laughs> uh head to the town and you can do a spawn and despawn method i believe but these are tiny pokemon so it won't be as easy to despawn and respawn them out but you can see the little blue dots on your if i here you go uh, okay you can't really see them maybe with the home app there we go you can see the blue dots there in the grass so you can try to pull some cascarafa respawns and if your eyes are good enough or if you do use your home zoom button you will notice these little blue spots in the grass you see those little pixels you will notice them in the grass and the moment you spot a yellow one is when you want to head forward and charge um and make sure to pick up the sparklies but there are a quite a bit few of nimbles that do spawn right by the town so you can just do those simple quick resets like that boom come back and there are your nimbles all spawning again in the grass so i just wanted to show you for some of those shiny hunters out there this is going to be my venonat spot pretty much where we're gonna be going for these pokemon and i'm currently hanging out in artizone just a little bit east of the town right over here in this spot and i'm getting tons of internet spawns so you get some spide ups as well here it's not too bad um the simple technique obviously is just despawn as many as you want out and then i just you know go right back to the spot make sure to check your back you don't want to spawn a shiny by accident you get some spawns of spide ups and the family tarantulas over there so I just go back to the middle they all start spawning again and the shinies are going to be quite obvious for venonat you're going to be looking for blue eyes on this pokemon that's who you're going to tell the blue eyes 
is your key distinguishing feature on it. And for Spide Ops and Tarantula, you're gonna look for red. That's pretty much what you're looking for over here in Artuza. Artuza. Artazone. I don't know why I call it Artuza. For some reason, I call it Artuza. I don't know why. Does anyone mispronounce a lot of things in this game? I definitely feel like me. I do pronounce a lot of stuff, even though it's like I open the map, it's right there. Well, what's wrong with me? I don't know. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna have to do in order to get these Venonats. This is a great spot, in my opinion. If you have a better spot, you can let me know. But that's what I got for this Pokemon and some Spide Ops. All right, welcome to Tag Tree Thicket. This is gonna be another great bug spot. You're gonna have tons of Venonats in here. You're gonna have tons of low FPS because it just loves to lower the FPS when you come in some of these places. You're also gonna be getting some Spide Ops spawning in here but yeah you can see the tons of venonats let's let's move here but yeah this is a this is a really good venonat spot in the game you want to just hunt these guys just look for the blue eyes and that's how you can identify them actually there's a lot of venonats there's your spide ops right there there's a family of the spide ops so just keep your eyes out for red and blue eyes this is almost pretty much like art art zone east of Artazone. Looks pretty much like that. So yeah, you can pay attention to these. If you have a Venonat, you probably just speed around and just run past the areas and just see what you can get. Let's see. I'm walking towards this lake area, which has a lot more spawns. There's a Spide Ops family. Do my do a little circle around here just to see what we get. It definitely seems some spawns are cut in the further part. Looks like the earlier part is a lot better. You get some Venomots at this part. Yeah, the second part by the lake, you seem to get more Venomots, but earlier you'll get more Venonats. That's what I I see here so spite ops and venonats in the first part and when you jump to the next part you get venomots so yeah if you're sticking to venomots and the spite ops this is going to be the area in tag tree thicket in order to hunt them you get some decent spawns here again just almost like artisone so good luck here's another nice bug spot for you guys the next area that we're going to be looking at is for Surskits. Yes, this is our bug Pokemon, and it is in the water. And what you're going to be looking for for Surskits is pretty much a darker blue color. And I'm sitting over here in this body of water right by Mesagoza. And as you can see around me, there are tons of them. Only problem is you're going to be having to look for the darker blue one. And on my screen right now, it is completely raining. So when you do find a darker blue one, that is going to be your indication of shiny. And its evolution masculine is going to be a green shiny. Now, there's another spot on this area that does have Mascarins here. So let me just go over to that spot real quick. Okay, it's going to be this location right on the map. So you go from Los Platos, go east, and it's going to be this little body of water here. And over here is a good selection of Mascarin that show up. And the shiny one is going to be green. So it's going to be very obvious. You also get, wow, that's that's actually quite a bit of Mascarin. I'm kind of shocked. The body of water here also is going to have Surskits. So it's almost like hunting two in one and you just have to despawn the whole group over there just like that. Yeah, once you despawn them out, you're going to start to get new spawns showing up immediately. So when you come back, they're going to just start to be there. You can also look at the Surskits if you do happen to find the darker blue ones and you can keep despawning them and respawning them until you find one here in area one. This next hunt is going to be in this area, which is all the way from North Province area three. It's going to be the grassy area. And as you can see, there are tons of flowers in this area which means we're going to be hunting Vivian, we're going to be hunting Combees, and we're going to be hunting Vespa Queens. That's going to be the main hunt here. Now, Vivians are going to be identifiable because their main body on the Pokemon is not going to be this black color, but it's actually going to be white, fully white. That's how you're going to tell the difference. It's going to be hard from looking far away from it, but once you get closer, you're going to be able to see it. Now, for the Combees and Vespa Queens, you're looking more for a much more orange color on them. And if you're going to catch a Combee that's shiny, you're going to want to make sure that it evolves into a Vespa queen so the female one is going to be having a little red dot on it in the center and the male ones will not they'll just be on their own now the cool part about these combies and vespa queens is you can identify them very simply by just looking at them it's very easy pretty much the strategy for this area is going to be just running back and forth make sure you're paying attention to the butterflies because that these are the hardest ones i would say the butterflies make it very difficult to see you have to look at their main body so that's going to be the probably the highest difficulty of this hunt in this area shouldn't be too bad to see it you also want to just keep a night oh, wait 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 that's a shiny okay there's the white body see it there it is there it is see it how it's fully white that's the shiny all right so i'm just gonna save there's your shiny nice 
That just leaves our Combi and Vespa Queen in the area. You could just simply go fast back and forth, pretty much just focusing on that hunt once you eliminate that butterfly. So I'm just going to be looking for our shiny Combis. There it is. They spawn when I go fast. This is also a flower area. So I'm just going to kind of hover around this area like this and keep going back and forth until you get your Vespa Queens and Combis in this area. But majority, this is a high area for your Pavilions. Pavilions. Man, that, that one's a, that's a tough one. One. nice dual hunting area good luck catching your pokemon here so this is a really good spot if you go over to the glaciato gym this is where you get snow and frost moth to spawn so right from glaciato gym start to head downhill and this whole entire hillside this whole area you're gonna get a lot of frost moth and and the snows they just tend to spawn a lot here now when you're looking for the shiny of this you gotta really look at the face the face of this pokemon is gonna be very different it's not gonna be this white color but a little more i feel like the tints more on the green side and the frost moth shiny is gonna be not as blue a more whiter and you're gonna see the green eye color on it so you'll you'll start to notice that so the loss of the blue colors anyway so this is the area where I've noticed you get a lot of snomes, like I mentioned. And what you could simply do around this hillside is just drop down. You can drop up. It's just, but they're all over this hill. Tons of them. Let me slow down. Let some more spawn in. Yeah, look at, look at, look at that. Look at them. There they are. The frost moths all over here. I like this spot. This is, a, this is a good spot. You're hunting here. You could despawn a bunch of them, respawn a bunch of them, and just really hope that you could pay attention and see them. I, there, it's ice. If you categorize this under the ice sandwich, it definitely is a lot harder to get. But under the bug sandwich, and on this side of the mountain, this is a very good spot to get your bug ice Pokemon. Oh, so nice to get a bunch of these. So good luck on getting your frost moths and your snoms, snoms, however you want to call it. If you go to Asado Desert with the bug sandwich on, it's going to be two bug Pokemon that we're going to be hunting. One is going to be Larvesta, which is also pretty much, it looks identical here if you have the fire sandwich, but it's good to know that you can get Larvestas. And what I like to do usually is in this area where I'm at, this whole entire area up to the middle point here is pretty much where you are going to focus on just the larvesta so this whole area you're going to get larvesta spawning until you happen to get your shiny one to spawn and of course the shiny one's going to be so obvious because it's going to look a lot more yellow and have the yellow tips i got this when i tried experimenting in my multiplayer shiny trick video after we both shared a sandwich in multiplayer then i left and went to my single player world i got my larvesta right over here so that's pretty much how to get larvesta okay now if you go from asado desert and go closer to this area where the green grass is north you're gonna get a bunch of reller spawning now reller is going to be a bug type only pokemon and it's gonna eventually evolve into a bug psychic pokemon now when you're looking for it shiny it's gonna be pretty obvious you're just gonna see a golden poop ball that's the best way to see it and identify it and i noticed the best results for me finding this pokemon is usually show up in this area so you're gonna get way more spawns towards this area all you simply have to do is just you know zone out zone back in and the gold tech is going to be really apparent when you do spot this shiny like it is gold gold it's exactly almost the same color as magic carps when you see it so just despawn out the pokemon there and then come back and you'll get a whole bunch spawning now since they don't spawn in families it's going to be a little bit of a slow walk stop wait for them to spawn around you kind of thing you could picnic reset in the area to try to get it uh that may work since there are a ton over here so you can try the picnic soft reset which i'll do right now i said picnic soft reset reset i mean just the picnic reset right here we go throw out my pokemon and i'm just gonna pack and go as soon as they come out and then i'll get a bunch of spawns around me again just like this so you can just do that see what spawns around you but this is probably the best area for you to get your reller the next spot that we're gonna be looking at is the socorat trail this is gonna be the one all the way north of casa Royal lake it's gonna look like the fall the orange one luckily this is a very nice bug spot if you're really tired of low kicks because they were lovely enough not to give us low kicks in the spot we get a good majority of heracross spawning here we get some nice fortress spawning here we also get spied ops and some families of them over here so it's gonna be pretty nice to hunt these pokemon here so it's a good combo now for fortress you're gonna be looking for the bronze looking gold shiny that's what they look like they lose all their color heracross simply just pink ones spied ops are gonna just be red and so are the little spiders that's it so pink 
red and bronze shinies. And what you want to really pay attention to is the trees here. When you despawn and respawn Pokemon out, pay attention to the trees. I actually ran into a shiny fortress here and it exploded on me. Luckily, I saved beforehand. And when I reloaded my game, I couldn't find where it was. But in fact, when I finally looked at it, it was sitting in the trees. So pay attention to the trees in case that happens to you for some reason where a shiny runs away. Look up. It is a very good thing to do because you might think all hope is lost if that happens. So yeah, pretty much what you want to do in this area is spot the Pokemon you want. Like see a good area of spawns and then simply just despawn them all out just like this right there. They're all gone and then walk back and then you'll get new spawns in the area as you walk towards them and make sure again you're looking up at trees because you never know what can show up. And yeah, just do all the loops around here and you should be able to easily get yourself a shiny fortress a shiny hair cross or if you're in the mood to zoom zoom you can probably even get yourself some spite ops here so for this hunt we're gonna be going for shiny scyther which is gonna be really obvious by the little little separations in its body it's gonna be nice and pink and red it's really obvious and we're gonna be traveling this pathway on casa Roya. so here's our scythers you can see how obviously they show up here and what you want to do is you know just simply walk this path that we talk about in almost all our videos and there's other locations that you can and go around the area because scythers really just take over everywhere in castle royal lake but this is where we get a shiny and there we go shiny right on screen for everyone to look at i just wanted to point out i really do like making these videos because i also get shiny pokemon while making these and it just makes the experience so much more fun anyway back to what i was saying we're going to have to just walk up and down this pathway to get these scythers and just don't go too fast because these are all solo spawns and just make your way around anywhere in this area you can find corners to, to hunt in you can just stay in one little section you don't have to travel the whole pathway uh, just despawn a group of these out and then respawn them back in by walking back into the spot and that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing around castle royal lake to get your shiny scythers that you can turn into a nice caesar now in order for you to get a caesar in the game you're gonna have to go over to lavincia's deli bird present shop and go ahead and buy a metal coat there and then trade that with somebody you trust in order to evolve it into a caesar and then you'll get it back if they're nice enough. They, they probably will be nice enough. You could do that in my Discord. All right, so if you come out of Research Station Lab number two, you're going to be introduced to a very nice just Venomoth spot. Look how many Venomoths are on in this area. Like, that is a lot. Also, I realize how creepy they actually look. Like, when you really look at them, they're, they're kind of scary. Anyway, in this area, you're going to be focusing just on this Pokemon. It's the only one that I've noticed that spawns here. Nothing else but Venomoths. But sh and they spawn pretty quick. They render in pretty fast. So you can move at a decent speed here, not walk too slow and get a good Venomoth to spawn. But as we continue down this pathway towards this waterfall, I just wanted to bring you to the nice Masquerin spot. There, there is a lot of mascarin down here when you have bug on this water area it's like chef's kiss for mascarin so you'll get a lot spawning here as well that's a nice little research station lab too down to this spot all the mascarin that are going to be in this water area so feel free to just despawn those groups in and out those low kicks are everywhere and yeah you'll get new mascarin spawns every time you come back over here you see them i feel like my sandwich just ran out as i was saying yep it just ran out but yeah that's where you'll be finding mascarin down here in the research station number two as you go down to the waterfall and the venomots as you go up when you come to research station number one in the area zero in pokemon scarlet you're going to be greeted by all these pokemon also you have a pokemon called slitherwing that will probably show up here i suggest you use the fighting sandwich to spawn a lot more slitherwing in pokemon scarlet which you can find on the fighting type video now you know some amazing shiny bug locations in the game Make sure to also check out this video because these are some pretty good locations too. Click on it. Seriously, hit it.